Good evening, gentlemen. Lawrence of Asia, coming at you here from Pai, Thailand. Here near the Miramar border, one of my favorite places in the whole world. Here on the river, it's hot, really hot. So we're just gonna sit down in the water, cool off. And today, gentlemen, I wanna to talk to you about how to find your way, how to find your place, how to find your way in this life. Sorry, Cap. This is like a bamboo forest here that I'm in. And uh, I've hiked this trail many times. It crosses back and forth across the river 10 or 20 times. And I've also done it on motorcycle as well, dirt bike. It's amazing. Brought some of my good friends out here. I'm gonna chill here in the water, cool off. There's my scooter. Let's pull straight up here. So, one simple insight is the, you know, just simply let go of all that isn't working, of all that isn't real, of all the excess. We get weighted down. This modern matrix system. And we lose our freedom. And in my heart of hearts, I believe we are, our souls are free. Are that of love, the essences of love and freedom. So how do you live this life in such a way that you are operating from love and freedom? Peace and clarity as often as possible. In every moment. As often as possible. How? Well, one very powerful trick is to let go of everything. Let go of all material possession. Let go of the place you call home. Grow bunny rabbit ear antennas. <laughs> Gentlemen, the system especially in the West, is designed to enslave us or keep us hostage. Keep us put. To keep us put. So, a one-year lease, a two-year lease, buying a home. All these things are fine. I'm not telling you that you cannot do them, but be hyper aware that you may very well be losing your freedom in the process. Fifteen years ago, gentlemen, when I let go of all material possession, I let go of a relationship in which I was totally in love with the girl, Maria. Things were good. Sex was good. Life was good. But it was just good. It was comfortable. It was good. It was nice. It was actually nice. But I was after something more. I had somewhat of a spiritual experience. Or a highly spiritual experience, you could say. An automatic writing experience came through me. And from that moment, I started questioning everything more so. And I started more and more yearning for my freedom. 
And in my mind, I needed 10 grand to do it. I needed 10 grand plus to go travel. I needed a way to make money, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I needed the right backpack. I needed the right hiking shoes, the right hiking sandals. I needed the right camping gear. I needed a, a water filtration, blah, 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 blah. Like all these things I thought I needed. All you really need is a toothbrush and a passport. And the will, gentlemen, the will. So if you cultivate all your energies, including your sexual energy, upon anything in this world, you'll find that you can pretty much accomplish it. And not only that, the whole universe conspires to assist you in doing so. So I hope you gentlemen are catching my drift of letting things go to find your way. You see just like this stream here is moving, right? Everything that flows down this stream, I'll turn around for just a moment, gentlemen. Everything that flows down this stream is going to find its perfect place. When you return to your natural state, when you unlearn and deprogram yourself of all the assumptions of all the programs set out for you and set in you, an intuition that speaks all the time can be heard more clearly. And then you're able to lead your life with that gentleman. It wasn't until I was 23 that I really started experiencing a high level of synchronicity. The Matrix had me. I yearned for something more. I always tried to listen to my heart, but I was a slave to the Matrix. Chasing cars, women, material, money, status. I was a slave to all those ideas. It's possible, gentlemen, to transcend all of those ideas, to transcend that entire game, to become a true individual with your own insight, to become a true renaissance man. And after traveling the world the last 15 years, I take the very best of every culture and it becomes mine. Those ways of orienting towards the world. Those ways of, it's really energetics of each society, each country, the energetics of each town, each city, every person you come in contact with, you learn something through those energetics. And travel is the greatest education that we can experience. One is not educated if one has not traveled the world. One cannot come to know the world we live in without having traveled to some degree. I think for Americans especially, it's just simply fear that holds people back. It's 
So how do you find your place? How do you find your place? Hmm. By giving up all that is not you. We paint ourselves with so many ideas, titles, assumptions that are simply not really us. And when you can let go of these, you may come to know yourself beyond any thought. Just simply the essence that is you. For me, my travel has always been a spiritual journey, gentlemen, always. And I always come back to that. I wish the same for everyone. Given it all, let's give it all up. And that attachment is the only thing that keeps us from our peace. Attachment is the only thing that keeps one from enlightenment. How do you find your way, gentlemen? doesn't really matter where you go, there you are. So it's always an inward journey. However, the two work together. Traveling in the outer world cultivates the inner journey. That's what I wish for everyone. I am Lawrence of Asia, and I have lived here in Asia for the last 15 years. For the most part, lived, traveled the world. It's just simply that I've spent more than half of the last 15 years here in Asia. And more and more and more. I feel called to spend more time here. The greatest and biggest hack for any man on this planet is change of location. Don't be scared to give it all up. You might just find yourself fully awake and alive, happy and healthy. You may just find your joy. You may just find your peace. Don't go on just surviving, gentlemen. Live your life. Take hold of the reins and go. If any of you would like to have a consult with me about moving to Asia, uh, that could be for free or cost, who knows. I mean, it's what I do all day, every day anyway, gentlemen. It's um, I just encourage men to travel. Find yourself. What I wish for you is what I wish for myself, gentlemen. And I'll say that I found it to some degree. Stay active. Keep after it. (sighs) 
nature, gentlemen, is such a blessed medicine. Just the natural waters. The natural waters are such, such medicine. You're drilling down, low on energy. Go jump in the ocean, river, spring, lake, ice bath. And remember to give gratitude for this life, gentlemen. It's a great blessing. Funny angles, huh? All right, gentlemen. I'm gonna end this one. I wish you well. Still pressing forward. I'm proud of you. All right. God bless. Peace, gentlemen. Love you guys.